this is another German philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche. I want you to just contemplate for a second or two what might be uh, what might be in this mustache if you comb through it. <laughs> what do you think's in there? I don't know. Now, these are the things that I think could be in Nietzsche's mustache that, that could conceivably fit in that mustache undetected. Uh, a chicken leg. A Volkswagen? <laughs> I was going to go for... Um, certainly a matchbox car. I was going to mm. go for a quarter chicken white meat from Boston Market. Quarter All up chicken. in that mustache. I would say two strips of bacon could be in there. Yes. <laughs> now, what other kinds of non-meat things? These are all meat. Maybe a popsicle? <laughs> a popsicle stick. I would say a whole popsicle. Yeah, if but the popsicle, uh, that popsicle would, would melt so fast. So a popsicle in that beard. stick and then like, a lot of sticky mustache Think about how, war- how much insulation is involved with that mustache. Mm, that's okay. crazy. So, I bet that guy could go out skiing for just days at a time without ever getting cold. With his, ever li- his upper lip will never get cold. Yeah. Now, because Mandrick's not here, we have to point out that by skiing, you don't mean st- sitting on a couch between two guys and giving them both <laughs> hand jobs, right? Like that kind of skiing. Yeah. You mean no, actually... No, no, like going up on a mountain. He cold means weather. Cocaine. Sliding down <laughs> on your feet. Cold weather. He, he couldn't do cocaine. Look, at, think about think about what his cocaine budget would have to be because of what right. is lost in the mustache. Oh, but think of what you could reclaim the next day. Oh no, wait! You use a straw. I didn't even think about that. Generally, yet. You, if he he could just use a long enough straw that that he, he could uh, bypass the mustache entirely. Or he entirely. could just like you know coat the mustache in it and then do sure. do like one of these numbers. Okay, yeah, that works. Mm-hmm. Right. Did you have one? Corey? And then he can. Well, I was. You know, there was that one where you snort it right out of your own mustache. <laughs> but there's also. <laughs> Do you think he would often offer women mustache rides? And like, you think they took when you him say up women? On that? I think he would sweep up women accidentally with his mustache. <laughs> when you say women, do you mean like one at a time, but several over a period of time, or like a woman's softball team all at once? <laughs> yes. Poor guy. You know, I feel bad for him. Hitler's favorite philosopher. That's how he'll be remembered. But uh, very much a perversion of his ideas. Would it ever bum you out if some evil bastard started listening to your show and made it his favorite? Like, what What if uh, it came out that George Bush sits and listens to School Sucks podcast every night? If he was saying, what you have to understand is his subtext, right? <laughs> the hidden messages. And if somebody pretended to decode it, to use to their own agenda and start like some kind of cult. I would that would bother me very much. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs>